St. David's, the smallest city in the UK. If you've been following our discussions of cities and towns in the United Kingdom, you'd find that St. David's has some strange features. If that thought hasn't struck your mind, those who know enough about cities and towns in the UK will have questions about St. David's. You'd likely ask, is St. David's a town or a city? The justification for that question is in its size and population. While we've discussed towns with a 30,000-plus population, with some like Grimsby and Luton having hundreds of thousands of residents, St. David's population is less than 20,000, yet it's one of the cities in the UK. But before we proceed, let's briefly talk about the location of this smallest city in the UK. Where is St. David's located? St. David's, also called St. David's and Cathedral Close, is a city and a community with a cathedral in Pembrokeshire, Wales. This Welsh city is on the River Allen and a beautiful stretch of the Pembrokeshire coast. St. David's is the UK's smallest city both in population and in urban area by local authority boundary. With just over 1,600 residents, St. David's is sitting at the southern end of the Irish Sea. It's tucked away in Cardigan Bay, St. George's Channel and St. Bride's Bay. The community has a tiny area of 17.93 square miles or 46.4 square kilometres. This covers not just the mainland area but also some other islands off the coast. Is St. David's a town or a city? Looking at the population and size of this location, one tends to conclude that St. David's is a village or to glorify it, a town. You'd require a lot of explanation to convince someone from another part of the world that St. David's is indeed a city. But it is. It had been given city status as far back as the 12th century when it was archaically known as Maniva or Manivia. However, this doesn't mean it was qualified to be a city ab initio. It got the status based on the practice in England and Wales that lowered the traditional requirement for awarding city status to cathedral towns. During the 16th century, for the English crown to recognise a city, it would have a diocesan cathedral within its limits with a royal charter or privileges of a borough. That was when Henry VIII founded dioceses. However, during borough reorganisations, this link was abolished in 1888 and St. David's lost its city status. What we know is that city status is typically awarded to a local authority of its administrative area is considered to be the formal borders of the city. Accordingly, St. David's can be considered a city as the whole of its community area, including those settlements of St. David's, its surrounding rural area with islands off the coast, can be mapped as being within the city. Consequently, in 1991, St. David's Town Council applied for city status again. The proposal was based on the fact that the residents had long considered it a city with its geographical structure. In 1992, the Home Office consented to refer the matter of St. David's city status to Buckingham Palace for consideration. Putting the history and current facts into consideration, at Queen Elizabeth II's request in 1994, the city status of St. David's was restored. The letters patent that conferred this city status, which were formally presented on 1st of June 1995 by the Queen in a ceremony at St. David's Cathedral, stated that the status was granted in recognition of their important Christian heritage and their status as cities in the last century. What is in the name St. David's? The city which is home to pastel painted cottages, galleries, pubs, an outdoor market and several restaurants serving farm to fork and foraged foods is the resting place of St. David. But who was or who is St. David after whom this is one of the smallest cities in the UK was named? St. David's, Wales patron, David was born around 500 AD to St. Non and was thought to have been born at the present place where the chapel of St. Non now stands. Historians believe that David had earlier founded a community somewhere around the west of Maniva or Manivia, the modern St. David's location. He is thought to have later established a new church and monastery at a place then called Glyn Rosin in the Banks of Allen and the current location of the cathedral. In recognition of St. David's efforts to put the location on the map of the world, it was named after him. St. David's before today. History in brief. In case you need to understand why this small city in the United Kingdom is so special, especially to the Welsh, you should delve into the history of the area. Of course, the dive doesn't have to be so deep before you appreciate why this city is held in high esteem by the government and the people of the UK. 
Don't forget that the patron saint of Wales, David, was reportedly born during a fierce storm on a clifftop in the southwest Wales coast. As the founder of a strict monastic order, he was the most influential clergyman in the entire region of Wales during the time known as the Age of Saints. In the 12th century, the purple-stoned St. David's Cathedral was built. They turned out to be the most influential stones of medieval Christendom. A container made of wood and metal hidden behind the high altar in the cathedral, according to the historians, holds the bones of St. David and that of his colleague and confessor, St. Justinian. Its history is replete with early Christian heritage beyond St. David's monastery and activities. For instance, the city is also the place from which St. Patrick is thought to have set sail when on the missionary journey to convert Ireland to Christianity. Today, there are several chapels in Pembrokeshire which are dedicated to St. Patrick. St. David's Today Has St. David's justified its status as a city? Yes, going by the landscape today and what dotted. Considering the features of the location, it's indeed qualified to be a city if the size is not to be factored in. If you are looking for a city with a lot of traffic lights at every junction, boarded up shops here and there, fast food takeaway chain restaurants and plenty of pubs, your idea of a city has been limited to what you see in London, Edinburgh or Cardiff among other cities in the UK. What you'll find in the city of St David's is a way of life that is in sharp contrast with that of big cities in Britain. Yet things that make up a city are there in the small city. For example, adjacent to the city cathedral are the magnificent ruins of the medieval Bishop's Palace. This edifice, dating from the 14th century with derelict from the 18th, is a splendid medieval ruin that still conveys the affluence and power of that medieval church. Tourists to this place get to learn about all the trappings of wealth and influence enjoyed by bishops of St. David's, unlike the frugal founding saint in the Middle Ages. The cathedral's location, almost hidden in a grassy hollow, adds to the unique atmosphere that most visitors and tourists feel when they come here. The city is such an attractive place with narrow streets filled with modest cafes, restaurants, hotels and even art galleries. Towers are essential features of cities and you will find these in St. David's with its 13th century tower gate and Celtic Old Cross and similar top buildings which are also well worth a look. If you visit this city during May, you'll see the highlight of every summer in the city. It's St. David's Cathedral Festival, an annual celebration and display of classical music. The festival is an occasion to see firsthand the most historic and highly revered building in Wales. The city also has an attraction, a marine life centre, a sea aquarium and adventurous trips on boats to the offshore islands. Sports lovers in modern day St David's will be interested in a nine hole links golf course. Another attraction that makes it city like is the market that holds on Thursdays in Cross Square, standing at the heart of the city. Conclusively, St David's may not have all you love to see in a city. It surely has enough and has gone through enough in history to be regarded as a city. When next you have a reason to be in Wales, try to include St David's, the smallest city in the UK, in your itinerary. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment and turn on the notification bell. This is Learning Canteen.